Okay. Are we rolling? Yeah. Okay. Hey there, my name's Bryony. Usually I'm out the front making you coffee in the mornings, um, but I also read. So right now I'm just going to have a chat about a couple of books that I've read and let you know how I feel about them. So this is one that, um, this is the latest release, which I've just read in the last couple of weeks, Gulliver's Wife. Um, it is a historical fiction based around a woman who lives in London in the 1700s and her husband, actually he's a sailor and he has disappeared off at sea and he hasn't come back for three years so she's basically thought he was dead. Which she's actually not too sad about apart from the fact that he left um, her with a mountain of debt. So the story sort of begins where she's got her life back on track and she's um, works as a, wid as a midwife to support her son and her daughter and she's paid off all the debts that her, her husband left to her and she, her world is functioning as it should even though it's been quite hard. Um, and all of a sudden he walks back through the door and he's just come back um, and he's in this sort of mad sort of state and he doesn't quite, he's not talking sense and, um, and she's quite doesn't know how she feels about it because they don't have the best relationship. So it's just about her navigating him returning to their world and um, yeah, just life in that era. It's very much about um, the struggles that women had to go through um, providing an income and supporting family in, in that time and also keeping the face and um, yeah, it goes into a lot of her work as a midwife and birthing babies in that era and yeah, it's very, it's a nice escape I think if you want a little a getaway from reality and to learn about the things of a different time. Yeah, so yeah, it was nice, it was sweet. Anyway, I'll move on to the next one. For those who haven't read Just Kids yet, do yourself a favour and indulge in this wonder. This is one of my all-time favourite books and it has been for many years. It's always on my bookshelf and I've given numerous copies away to friends over the years. Um, it's just a magical memoir of Patti Smith, who is an artist, mus musician. Um, it's about her life um, leaving her hometown and moving to New York in the late 60s, I think and just about the escapades and the, ama the amazing things she got up to there. She met um, her partner at, at the time, which is Robert Maplethorpe, who, and it's about their struggles um, surviving as artists and making, trying to make a living off artists and exploring the world as artists. And um, it's so rich, it's raw, it reminds you that love and art and connection are equally as tangible as anything else that we value in this world and it's just a beautiful beautiful reminder of that and um, yeah it's something you should definitely pick up and eat forever and cherish so that is and also on top of that she is just the way she writes just is brilliant yeah it really it's so visual and it's just makes you want to be there with her so that's amazing third book that I've picked up is a random little ditty that I ran across. I just stumbled across it and I picked it up and, and it's, it's almost, um, it's not so much a novel, it's, 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 I guess it's more of, um, more set in a poetic sense. Um, it's called The Lover's Dictionary by David Leviton and um, basically it goes through the alphabet of um, random words that have just picked out for, for significant random words starting from A going through to Z and as you read um, the subtext under each word you are given a little um, insight into this couple's relationship and the, in, the ups and downs and the ins and outs of how they met, how they began to trust each other. Um, the, the infidelity that was involved, um, how they moved on through that, and um, just sweet little everyday moments that he's captured magically on the page. And basically, the beautiful thing about it is that it's not in chronological order. So although the alphabet runs in order, obviously, <laughs> 
um, the snippets that you were given uh, are through a jump, jump through different courses of this couple's relationship. And so it's almost like you're getting little insights into their world and how they deal with life and love and all those things that matter. So yeah, some of it's quite sweet and funny. Some of it's quite raw and sad um, and heartfelt, but I just, I couldn't put it down. I read it in a day. It's a beautiful little book as a present or for someone you care about. And yeah, I just wanted to speak out about it because it, 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 um, it stayed with me. Yeah. So that's all for now. Thank you for listening.